Hello my YouTube family, Josiah here at Wonder Gaming, bringing you guys some more Dark Souls PvP. As you see on screen, I need to warn everyone before they watch this. This is PvP in the forest, and I play really, really dirty because these guys are typically gankers. Uh, even if you get a 1v1, they're usually trying to summon phantoms and heal, so I put the expectation that they're going to heal, so I will heal on 1v1 fights as well. And the reason I'm doing this, the reason I am showing you guys this, and I'm playing scummy, and I, I realize some people may not want to see this, that's why I'm warning you now, is because there's multiple facets to Dark Souls PvP. There's not just dueling, and that's all I really have been showing. But there is, this is another facet of PvP that some people, you know, do solely. They, they want to go 1v2, they want to they wanna fight in the forest, they want to fight against people that do everything everything they can possibly to win and, and try to beat them because uh, from my little bit, my little bit of experience with this it is a rush when you beat two people by yourself uh, it's also oddly oddly satisfying when you 2v1 someone who does that to other people when you when you gank a ganker and they're not able to summon a phantom there's two blue phantoms there it just feels so satisfying to teach them you know what what they run up against and there, you'll actually see in one of these fights that uh, we 2v1 this guy, and rather than fight us both, or, you know, let us, or rather than try his hand at fighting us both, he, he kills himself instead, and you guys will see that, it's, it's a fight towards the end, I think, but yeah, these guys, I don't know, they're just, their mindset is really, uh, really, really distasteful, I, I really hate it, and you may say, well, why do you want to play the way that they do, and like I said, it's just to show you guys that there is this other part of Dark Souls PvP in the forest, and you deal with gankers, and yeah. Uh, this is just uh, another facet of Dark Souls PvP, so I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys that. Another thing I want to mention that a lot of people have been finding this tasteful with my first uh, little clip is that I have 99 Divine Blessings. Uh, you cannot legitimately, as far as I know, get 99 Divine Blessings. What I did is, over a year ago, it's been so long since I've done this glitch because it got removed from the game over a year ago. But uh, over a year ago, I made this character, and I haven't really played with him since. Uh, so I did the bottom of this box glitch. I give all my items from one character to the next, and you can duplicate stuff that way. Uh, so that's how I got the Divine Blessings. It was something I did over a year ago. It doesn't make it any less bad. I apologize to anyone who dislikes my Divine Blessing usage, but uh, I do it because most of the, most of the gankers will have flasks, which will heal both the... the, the both the human of the world, I don't know, the host, and it will heal all his phantoms. So the flasks will heal several people at once, and they also have humanity, which will heal them full. Uh, I also have humanity too, but I don't have flasks. So I have uh, humanity, and I have the divine blessings, which are a little bit quicker and will remove status ailments. Uh, that I use against these guys. People are like, well, that's not fair. And uh, one could say that I don't believe that ganking someone is fair. I know it's a part of the game and Divine Blessings really aren't, but I'm sorry. And I don't really think that it should be that big a deal. It's not like a, the next world's moral dilemma is that I'm using uh, items that I didn't really get legitimately in the game. And it is unfair, and I apologize to anyone. I probably won't be doing PvP like this much more because of all the, you know, lashback. Or, lashback? I think... I think that's the word. Uh, you know, just the, the negative feedback that I've received uh, for what I've been doing so far. So, you know, express your opinions. Uh, I do want to hear them. You guys are my audience and I make videos for you. But please do it intelligently. And I don't I really think it should be, you know, a huge dilemma if I, uh, if I, you know, kind of, I, I guess I'll just admit, kind of abuse the mechanic of the game. But it's been, it's been removed. Oh, so yeah, other than that, I'm sorry about my long spiel, but uh, let's get to the PvP. Alright guys, so I talked for way, way longer than I planned to, and I apologize for that, but I will probably have put an annotation in the beginning, uh, and you can skip the PvP, but if you have skipped the warning, that's your own fault. If you don't like what you see, I put the warning there for a reason. But other than that, I, I do feel like this is an enjoyable form of PvP. It's not really fun if it feels like it's futile and uh, both the phantoms you know get or both the uh, people you're fighting get a one up on you but it's really really thrilling uh, exciting to beat two people by yourself <clears throat> and it's it's not like normal dueling it's a it's a different kind of feeling obviously okay so this first fight here I'm just trying to keep this guy busy and the other dude is punishing uh, punish BSing him and yeah this is <laughs> 
This is kind of us giving him a taste of his own medicine is what I feel like. That's why I didn't really feel like there's anything wrong with this. I, I know I'm stooping down to the level, but this is what they do to other people. So I want them to kind of know how it feels. It doesn't feel good. And maybe they'll stop people from doing this PvP like this in the forest. But the forest has kind of been a haven for this kind of PvP for a reason. Because people go here to do this. I don't know why. It's a really weird, uh, you know, mental thing. I don't know. Anyway. This next fight, oh gosh, I think this, let me, let me scroll out here, oh yes, this is, this is a really, really long ordeal here, <laughs> I don't even remember everything that happens, uh, but I, I do at least kill a few f uh, phantoms, but yeah, this takes a long time, and like I said, uh, I'm gonna get to 1v1 at one point, and I'm going to heal, it's still, because I, I know that the phantom would do the same thing, and... You may say, well, you should try to be better than them, but if I'm PvPing in the forest, I, I really can't try to be better than them. At least not in my opinion, because that's not going to work out very well for me. <clears throat> because they'll take every opportunity they can to punish you. You can't, like, bow and expect a fair fight. That's not going to work that way. Anyway, enough of my uh, ranting and raving. So, I guess right here we just split up and it's the Phantom versus me and the Host versus the other guy. I actually didn't realize before, but I think the the phantom the other phantom dies. But I, I or no, that no, yeah the other uh, guy that invaded with me dies, and I think I'll be able to take out this dude. He's got the uh, ultra. Club? What is the name of that? It's it's not the large club. It's the, it's bigger than it's the ultra great club I, or the great club. Yeah yeah, I think, and it's an ultra great great club. It's an ultra great club in that it's super super slow like uh, Havel's or the Dragon's Tooth. So yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I can really mention right here. Splitting them up is always good I guess. I think the other, yep the other Phantom just died. I, I didn't actually catch that the first time. The other, the other Dark Spirit died. I, know, I was kind of wondering where he had gone before but I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I got a tree bro helping me out here. I think that's what people call them. And that actually, the Wrath of the Gods actually knocked my thing back. And I somehow I'm able to kill him on the ground here. I'm not sure how that worked. But uh, I make it 1v1. And I, I always throw out the, um, well, what is it? Which is, I think, well deserved. <laughs> but yeah, it becomes 1v1. And I don't think this guy is expecting me, honestly. I don't think he expects me to fight as scummy as I end up doing. But, uh, you know, I had that expectation of him because he's here in the forest of the fans and trying to gank people. So I don't really know what he was doing. I don't really know why he, he didn't expect that. But yeah, he doesn't seem like a typical ganker. He actually is a little more uh, skilled, I have to say. A little. I don't want to give him too much credit. But yeah. Uh, take the time to heal here. Yes, yes, scumbag, scumbag. <clears throat> I actually try to uh, throw Lloyd's talismans at him. I think when I do actually get him a one later, he ends up uh, using humanity anyway. So like I was saying, point proven. These guys take every opportunity they can to do anything they can to get themselves a leg up. That's why they're trying to 2v1. I don't really know why they go for PvP 2v1 though. If, if they have their builds finished and stuff, if they're a high enough level, why do they need to fight 2v1 versus someone? Is that like... I never really got that. That's something I still don't understand today about the forest. Is, is are they just sick in the head or something? Like they they want to pe make people feel like victims or something? I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I've never really understood why. I mean, I guess some of them don't have their builds finished, but then the the people invading them typically do. So it really wouldn't be much easier two v one because the the fandom would likely be much stronger than you. So yeah, I never really understood that. I just felt like there was something wrong with him, like the sick in the head. And I know I'm probably overanalyzing this a little too much for a video game, which is kind of what I don't want you guys to do because I'm using divine blessings. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really it's really strange to me. I never I never fully understood. He's trying to point down, I guess, because I healed. I almost got him, but I didn't. I don't know. I I don't know why he's trying to like do the gestures and stuff. Like I did something wrong when I when I first came here, he was, he was trying to 2v1. So I don't I don't know. I'm so confused about this. The, the what what do these people think? And I understand. Like I said, it's a video game, so I don't want it to be such a huge deal. But I don't get what they're thinking. Like why taunt me when you were when you were doing the scummy thing in 2v1? Why taunt me? Because I'm I'm being a scumbag back? Because I'm trying to give you a taste of your own medicine? I don't get it. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I know some people are going to express uh, distaste, and I, I was ready for that, but I probably, like I said, won't do much more of this PvP, just because people seem to like the other stuff more, but not all Dark Souls is pretty in, pretty in pink, I, I, I don't know, just to say a saying that makes sense, but <laughs> that doesn't really make sense in this context. But yeah, some, some of Dark Souls is dark. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm psychoanalyzing this so, so very superfluously. There we go. That was a good save, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't want to think about it too much, because, I don't know, I don't like these people. <laughs> to become the beast, or, to defeat the beast, you must become one yourself. That's not always true. There's also another saying, which is probably more appropriate for what people want me to think is that, um, what is, it was a saying, I think it was a Mark Twain saying about, like, be careful when you stare into the dark for too long because the darkness also stares into you or something like that, and if that wasn't, then it was, ah, oh, I'm so bad at quotes, <laughs> if it wasn't that, then it was like, be careful be careful while fighting monsters lest you become one yourself or something like that. I think those are actually both two different sayings, but they're both kind of appropriate uh, for what people I feel like are trying to get across to me. Is like, they don't want me to become that, and I promise you guys, I'm not going to be doing this for long. And I know I probably sound like a broken record reiterating this, but I want you guys to understand that this is probably going to be like a, a one-time deal, or uh, it's probably going to be few and far between that I do this again. Right here, I try to go over here and get a chance to uh, get a little breathing room from this guy, and the Phantom actually falls me all the way down when I think the host actually stayed way back at the spawn, which I, I'm not quite sure why he's doing that. The other thing I kind of I kind of wanted to do off topic here, but kind of on topic, is I kind of wanted to get summoned to these guys' worlds. To summon to the, the host worlds, and I, I failed the, uh, it didn't actually knock him off. What was I saying? I kind of, oh yeah, I kind of wanted to put my summon sign down and act like I was going to be like one of the phantoms that helps gank. And I just wanted to like get naked and take my weapon off and just troll the phantom and make him 1v1 one of the blue phantom Or troll the host and make him 1v1 of the blue phantoms. And then just sit in the back the whole time taunting. <laughs> and I thought that would be pretty funny. I'm sure someone already has already done that, but not that I've seen. Oh, I think I actually killed this guy. I thought he fell, but I killed him. He died right there. Oh, that's why I got his souls, because I didn't see him fall off after me, but he was that low. I didn't actually realize that while I was fighting him, so I'm watching it right now and commentating it, that when I swung on him on the ladder, I just actually killed him. Alright, well, I got two of the phantoms and I killed myself, so <laughs> I guess I throw that, I, I want to throw that in there. What is this right here? Shadow Sky Dragon. I think this is a 1v1. I don't think I actually heal on this one either, so... I do spam dark magic a bit, obviously, because that's the only sensible thing to do. <laughs> and I know dark magic isn't necessary. I know people have been uh, fighting forest, forest gankers long before the dark magic even came out, and they've been doing just fine with just straight up weapons and stuff. But I'm not that good a player, and I, I've admitted to that before. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at Dark Souls. There are many that are much, much better than me. So yeah, I don't get a chance to heal, but I also, I did throw the uh, Lloyd's Talisman on him, and he doesn't get a chance to heal either. Yeah, I, I was thinking that I, he does try to heal later on, but no, I think, yeah, he casts Dark Pursuers for some reason, I just get the backstab, and I beat him 1v1. No healing at all on either side, because he wasn't allowed. So yeah, there was a fight where I wasn't too scummy, but I did give the, uh, well, what is it? Because <laughs> I think it's always deserved. And I think... Like I said, I did the bottomless box glitch, so I made this character like I, with just souls that were in my box, and maybe a little other stuff. And and then I also, you know, I I went to get the dark magic with him. I had to go go through all that, but he's already a really high level. And I also made sure to get the well. What is it? I think it, it's it's in the cathedral and it's on the way. It's an undead parish, but uh, <laughs> I think that's kind of hilarious that. I, uh, I made sure to get the dark magic and that. <laughs> like, that had to be a thing that I, I remembered to get as well. So this guy's turtling behind a Havel shield. I'm trying to break his guard with a dark bee, but I don't think it actually does much uh, to his guard. And this is this is the fellow that I think I was talking about, where he gets 1v2'd, and he doesn't know really what to do, even though he has dark magic and stuff. I mean, he could do the same thing that I can, but he has more armor than me. 
So instead of uh, dodging that, I actually just make sure to throw the Lloyd's Talisman on him so he can't flask. And he ends up just rolling all the way to the edge to try and kill himself right here. And I don't know why I didn't think he would try to do this. But we still get the souls anyway, so I don't know I don't know what the point was. The Phantom rolls off. I don't I don't actually kill myself. But yeah, I still get 518,000 souls. What level was he? Was he like the max level too? Seriously? He was more than our levels combined, likely. And he still kills himself. Like, really? What is that mindset? I don't get it. <laughs> and I'm trying to psychoanalyze the game. I realize how stupid I must sound, but I, st I just don't understand. <laughs> Someone help me. Okay, so this is the last fight. Uh, this is actually a pretty unfortunate fight. Uh, I don't feel too good about this at all, but... The reason I am putting this in here is because... People said the dark magic is balanced. It gives casters a chance to use magic only and fight fairly, or fight on even ground. And look at this. The item put into the game to counter the dark magic does not stop him from dying in one hit. One cast of my dark magic. And that was just kind of the point behind that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to your feedback. Love you guys. Yes, damn it. God bless.